70 years later. New Ugg boots. But that's not what this video is about. I've got some packages here. So let's go to Studio A and check them out. Windy day here, by the way. I hope you can hear me. That's better. Windy day. Well, a while back, a subscriber of mine named Alex contacted me via my Instagram with a suggestion that he sends me random packages and I have to guess what they are. So let's check those out. Before I proceed though, I'm going to have a giveaway competition so you need to pay very careful attention to everything in this video. Now one of the rules is, I'll get to the rules later, you have to subscribe to this channel and click the all notifications bell and don't think I won't know. And before I show you what's inside these mystery objects, you might want to play along with me. So grab a pen and paper and make notes along the way what you think the objects are because then I'm going to pause and come back and tell you what I think they are. So, let's dig in. Okay, well, these are all drop, drop shipped from China, by the way. So that's item, item one. How is that? Hello? Ah. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's move on to the. Well, write down what you think this is. Let's move on to the next object. No, we'll come back to that one. What's this? Oh, okay. Uh, well, this one's a bit of a the way because it's written on it, but... It says Capcom. Nothing else inside. Um... Hmm. Okay. I think there might be more to this one. Write down what you think it is. Uh, oh, yeah. Here's one I just tried to open and, um, yeah, I found the other end was already open. So I don't know if that happened during customs. There's no custom seal, but uh, what we basically have at the moment probably won't get you to guess this one is an empty packet. Let's see what the post office says about that. Uh, oh, what's that? Universal clip lens. I hope you can see this. It's very windy today. Write down what you think this is. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's a nice case. I like that. Ah, okay. There's a couple of items in here. 
Well, that's very cool. I definitely like the case. So, if you guessed that was a case, I'll give it away and I'll say I think that's a case too, but it doesn't seem to match these things. Let's have a closer look at what these are. So what have we got in here? Well, I know what that is. It's, it's obviously an Allen key, as we call them. Uh, I have no idea what that is. Ball bearings, but not a ball bearing bed. Some sort of a white thing. Oh. <laughs> Wow, that's unusual, especially in these days. I can't get it out of the packet. Lots of small packets in here, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> well, that one's pretty obvious, but um, yeah, that could be interesting. Let's see if you can see that. Oh, I'm not doing the best photography today. Yeah, that's interesting on a number of levels actually, and no further comment on that, given you have to be careful what you say these days, or else you get banned. But as for the rest, write down what you think those are, and we'll come back to these as well. Hmm, interesting. Uh, what is it here? Well, you've got several objects in here. Ah. Okay. Well, ah. is it what it seems to be? Write down what you think is actually in the box. We'll come back to that in a minute. Now uh, this is, let's have a closer look at this one. So, right. Sugar and spice. <laughs> I dropped a bit. Probably shouldn't do it in studio, yeah. eh? The spring sort of thing here. A little, little tiny cable. That's pretty weird. There's a little gun shaped thing and oh, this is well, this is a weird thing. This is the toothpicks and screws. A bit strange. Try not to drop these or oh, I think we've got all the toothpicks. Oh no. Oh there's a million toothpicks and tiny screws. Probably won't pick those up. And oh dear, weird things. <laughs> Very strange. Uh, right. Uh, let's see if you can guess what that might be. Let's come back to that one too. Keep writing down what you think these are. Okay, well, well, some of those have me a bit bamboozled. So let's pause here, press the pause or watch the following ad, and we'll have a brief intermission while you tally up how many objects you think that you guessed correctly. And then we'll come back and see what I think they are. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Okay, well, time to get my opinions I suppose. Don't forget there's a giveaway competition coming up. Stay tuned.
and stay focused. Let's start with the first one. It says Fizz Saver, so it's kind of a giveaway. Can you see that? And that, oh, okay, that looks like a tap. I suppose if a fellow was to read the instructions, it'd probably help. Although, you know, coming from China, who knows? Forever fizzy keeps soda and other carbonated beverages from going flat. Blah 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 blah. blah. Twist the fizz saver onto the top of the two litre bottle of soda. I would call it soft drink. I guess Coca Cola or whatever. Pepsi, if you're into that. I'm not into either, to be honest. Invert the bottle in your refrigerator door. Yeah, okay, well, that's probably handy. So somehow, the bottle goes in there, I guess. The bottle goes in there. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Just follow the pictures here. <laughs> I don't know. Can you see that? Uh, okay, so it says, right. I don't know. So it goes upside down. I don't have a bottle of soft drink here. No, here. Oh, no soft drink in there. Damn it, Alex. <laughs> Thanks, by the way, mate, for sending these objects. And yeah, sorry, it's taken a while to make the video, but yeah, there are other things in the queue. So you put a bottle of drink in there. There's a screw cap there. Screw that in. The bottle of drink's here. And you put it upside, okay, so it's upside down, and how's it going from there? Put a drink, well unless gravity is flowing upwards, which it doesn't tend to do, but told you it was windy, oh no, there's stuff blowing everywhere. <laughs> Sugar, this is not working out well. <laughs> well, not for me anyway. You guys at home, it's uh, probably working out alright. So, a bottle of drink in there. And somehow it's supposed to go up there, but you can't turn it upside down. I did say they're made in China. So, yeah, I guess it's kind of a thing. Anyway. That's apparently what that is. Fizz saver. Let's move on to the next thing. I forgot the order now. Uh, right, okay, so I think it was the, um, well, we won't bother about the empty packet. If you guessed that, give yourself one point. I hope you're still playing along. So this was the cap gun. And given there's no Given there's no uh, percussion caps, or if you remember as a kid playing with cap guns, we put a strip of caps, as we call them, which were compressed gunpowder, I guess, and you go bang, bang, bang. There's none of those. Oh, hang on, I, th I think I might have it. Well, that does something. Maybe I think you put that onto a, a twist top bottle. Uh, again, Coca Cola, whatever. You squeeze that, and that grabs the thing, and then you twist it to undo the cap. So that's what they mean by cap gun, I think. Alright. Okay, well, that's a novel idea. Did you guess that one? I'm only guessing that I'm correct anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can do. What did we have next? Oh, yeah, this was interesting. Universal clip lens. I think it's obviously for a phone. Let me go grab my phone. Okay, I have my phone here. And if I'm right, it's obviously the clip on lens. I hope you can see that. 
Okay, so that's just a little carry case. And there's some little lenses. This could be interesting for future test video. Sorry, I'm not really framing this right. It's a bit difficult on my own. So, I'm guessing that clips onto your phone. Let's try. So there's the... Let's try it. Somehow. Mm. Oh, I don't want to... Where's the lens? Oh, okay, I see. Well, it's not quite perfect. Hmm. Alright, if you can see that. Are you seeing me in stereo? Alright, that looks really, really sharp. Uh, okay. It, uh, so it gives you a wide angle. One day, wide angle view. Yeah. There's another one there too. Hang on, let's try that. So that unscrews. And there's, there's another one. It has a little lens cap on it. So that screws on there. Look at that. A little lens cap. It's pretty nifty actually. I'm not sure of the quality. Let's try this one. Where are we? Where's the lens? Oh, there it is. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. Great. That looks to be really good quality. Nice. Then let's see this one. Oh that's a lens cap for the first one. Hang on, I think there might be another one in here. Or am I wrong? I think there's a third one here, according to the box. Oh, 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 oh no, things are blowing away. So we have a fisheye, a macro and a wide angle, according to the box. You can see that? Probably not. So one, two, three. See, look, one, two, three down the bottom here. So we're one and two. Ah, right, I can see there's two screws into one there. Ah, this is not the best cinematography you've seen from me. It is what it is. It's really tight. Ah. Ah. Anyway, I can see there's, there's three lenses there. I won't keep you up all day watching this. Three lenses. We might keep that aside for another little test video somehow. Moving on to the next thing. Did you guess that, by the way? I suppose some of you might have seen those before. I haven't. Pretty good idea. But... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't go shooting a movie with it, put it that way. What's the next, oh, the next strange lot of things, clusters? Again, the case, I'm definitely keeping that. Here's a ring. Why do people always put packages in? Like tiny little things. It's like when you buy meat these days, it's all cryovac and you've got to cut it open with a knife and risk slitting your wrist. Here's a nice ring. He says as things are blowing away everywhere. It's a nice little ring. What's it say? Oh, I don't have, oh, hang on. I have to use one of these lenses to zoom in. Can't quite read that. Uh, actually fits. Whoops, there you go. Oh. 
There's a little engraving zone. It's quite nice. It's fairly wavy too. Again, I hope, by the way, you can hear me. It's extremely windy today. Um, and I'm not wearing a lapel mic for a change. So, it is what it is. Put that in there for the moment. This COVID badge, I'll keep that for a um, for an interest. I'll never wear it, and if I did, I wouldn't be accurate saying because it says COVID vaccinated. Well, to each his own. But these things here, ball bearings, and a weight, and a aluminium block or aluminium to American. Same thing exactly. And an Allen key I can't get off the table. And somehow that's that's related to this, apparently. Which is like a gun shaped thing. There's two green sides, I guess they go together. No. This here seems to have something to do with it. A little spring thing. And there's, okay, there's four holes there, I don't know if you can see, and also four holes there, so the screws obviously do that. Oh, I think I know what this is. Then you hook that in there, on both sides, and you spring it back. Ah, oh, I get you. I'm not going to do it at the moment, it's a bit sharp, but I'm going to cut my hands off. Then I'd say, eventually, when you screw it all together, this aluminium block has something to do with it. Then I think, what you do, uh, why the LMP? Oh, this is down the table again. And then, oh, oh. Oh, there it is. It's there. Then you screw those together. Although I don't see any Allen keys here, so. Oh, yeah, the, the screws are actually Allen key heads. Or hexagonal heads or hexagonal. So I guess what you do then, you have that in place, pull it back, and fire off these little ball bearings. Hmm, that seems like a lot of trouble to go to. Oh no, actually it looks like you can shoot either ball bearings or toothpicks. Anyway, that is what I think that is. Did you guess that right? If you didn't, I don't blame you at all. It's very odd. What else do we have? Oh yeah. What's inside this box? It says Fahrenheit Dior. I'm going to take a guess at what's in here. I may or may not be right. Oh, well, look at that. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Some scent. It's a bit pinkish colour. I don't know if it's a male or female scent. Oh, it smells nice. Ooh. You know what that does? Oh, that smells very nice. I don't care if it's male or female, it uh, smells very nice. That could be handy to give to a future ex-girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, applications below. Um, yeah, well I might keep that because the last, uh, I buy scent probably about once every 20 years if that. So I think the only one I have left is uh, the old Brute 33. It was a really good one once actually, speaking of scents, uh, many years ago. And it was an Avon one, just a cheapie, but I used to wear it, it was a male scent. And yeah, I, it was a lot of women used to comment on the scent. So I think sometimes it depends on your natural pheromones, whether perfumes or scents blend with that particular person. But um, yeah, I used to get compliments on them all the time. Uh, yeah, well, there you go. Now I really get compliments. Maybe I need to start wearing this sort of thing again. Okay. Well, I think that's it. Very intriguing. Um, yeah. So did you guess correctly? Or, or do you agree with my guess of what those, those items are? There's quite a few. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pay the love forward, as they say, and open it up to a bit of a competition or a giveaway. Well, the rules I'll put down in the description below. First of all, rule number one 
you have to be subscribed to this channel and click the all notifications bell. Okay, I'll know, I can, I can see that. So, I suppose there's not many items. I'll give away um, everything that that I probably I'll keep the scent. This is what I'll keep. Okay, I'll keep the scent for the moment. Maybe I'll give that away to at a later date. I'll keep the universal clip lens just to see if that's good for some sort of weird video effect. There's nothing else here. The fizz saver. Um, yeah, well, I don't drink soft drink. I'm sure this is quite handy. It's quite unique. So the fizz saver will be one that I will give away. Put that over there. What else do I want to keep? I definitely want to keep this little case because that could be handy for a lens filter or something. Um, I'll keep the COVID badge. Okay, it's an ice ring. But I, uh, I don't wear rings. I haven't worn rings for years, so... That'll be given away too. Okay, so I'll put aside the things I'm keeping. Um, I guess that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. Like I say, I really appreciate everyone that's ever subscribed to my channel. Very much. So, oh look, they're only cheap items. But if I can pay it forward, as they say, I'm happy to do that. So... What you need to do if you want to win any of these items, I guess you can contact me on my Instagram, which is Steve Mac Actor. Send me a message through there once you've followed me. You can leave a comment down below or uh, in the description area I'll put my email if you want to send me a direct email, if you'd rather not make a, a comment. But here's the question. Just tell me what you would do with these items. Uh, if you win them, would you give them away? What sort of use would you put them to? Yeah, and I've checked it out and apparently with the competition the rules are quite stringent. Um, it has to be within your own country. You have to be over 18 years of age. Sorry about that. So if you're an Australian resident or I think you're probably, if you're a New Zealand resident, yeah that's all right I'm sure. Um, yeah, give me those details, let me know what you would do with the items. So, look, I may end up giving more than one item to one person. We'll just see. So, you have, you have the fizz saver, you have the cap gun. This I'll do as a complete cluster of the little uh, potentially deadly weapon. Hopefully not. Don't misuse any of these items. The little um, bow and arrow thing with ball bearings. Probably shouldn't have that away. Well, evidence that it's windy. There goes the packet. And the ring. It's a nice ring. I'd like to keep it. But look, the reality is I have drawfuls of things that I haven't never used. So, uh, well, there is actually something written on there. Okay. Alright, I won't say that out loud. I just realised that that's funny actually. Right. So yeah, those are the rules, right? Simply what you um, what you would do with those items. And I'll announce the winner. I'm going to do a live stream for this month, probably in a week or two. So I'll announce if we have any winners, I don't blame you if you don't want to enter the competition, but it's a bit of fun. And besides which, being so, they're really cheap items. Uh, it simply wouldn't be worth the cost of postage to spend, say, $100 posting it to the USA or somewhere when the items are only really cheap. But it's a bit of fun anyway, so I'm quite happy to pay those for it. So, there you go. Thanks again, Alex, for writing in. And uh, you can do likewise. You can always contact me. Uh, there's details in the description. Or you can follow my Instagram and send me a message through there. Either way, I always check comments. Occasionally I miss some, but that's not my fault. YouTube's been vanishing comments again, as they tend to do. So, yeah, hope you enjoy that little game. 
Thanks once again, Alex, for your contribution. And it's finally, yeah, I've filmed it and um, moving on to the next topic. So cheers for now. I apologise ahead of time if this audio is rubbish because, uh, um, yeah, well, it just is. I'm only uh, that far from the camera. I'm hoping the audio will be passable. So until next time, folks, take it easy. Enjoy what you're doing. And if you're not in lockdown, all the better. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. So enter the competition. As I said, check the comment section below or the description area and I'll put uh, the details there again of how you can contact me. So, see you soon. Bye.